Hey guys, my name is Jerry Clutter. I work here as a design engineer in the research and development department here at Z1 Motorsports. Today we're going to be talking about our urethane motor mounts. Uh, so let's take a look behind the design. So this is the OEM motor mount. It sits between your engine and your subframe. Uh, really, its main job is just the dampening vibrations that you may feel from the engine um, while driving, make your ride more comfortable. So the way the mount is installed in the car, uh, when the engine is at rest and there's no movement, uh, it is under compression, so the bushing is being pushed down like this. Uh, under load, the driver's side motor mount is actually pulled at both ends here and is under tension, which will actually tear the bushing apart. That is why it fails. Uh, so we knew that our motor mounts had to be loaded in compression only so that we weren't tearing apart any bushings. So under load, this bottom plate is pulled up by the bolt here, uh, which puts this lower bushing in compression. So under all forms of operation, this mount has no bushings which are in tension. They're always in compression, so they will never fail. So these are machined from 6061 aluminum. Uh, the bushings are a 70A durometer polyurethane. Uh, we do offer rebuild kits. They are fully rebuildable, although we've never actually sold one because they don't fit. We've had these on our cars for 10 plus years. Uh, we run them on all of the Z1 track cars. They've been in Pirelli World Challenge. We run them on all our street cars. They've also been in Grand Am, Formula Drift. Uh, most you know, big name racing series, if it's got a VQ in it, it's probably got one of our mounts. We assemble all of our urethane motor mounts in-house to precise tolerances. They're available for all Nissan Z and Infiniti G models from 300ZX and up. If you'd like to see any more info, visit our website at z1motorsports.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, leave a comment below on any other products you might want to see in this series, and uh, see you next time.